Denise Clark is on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her over and we're going to have the Commodore station and we're going to get caught up on what has been going on with her since we have began this conversation. This is interview number four. So we're about to get started. Let's go. All right. Denise Clark Bradford. How are you on today? My, 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 my mind is made up. That ought to tell you. <laughs> I'm on my way up. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Got to hold my head up. I'm going on with the Lord. My, my, my mind is made up. Good God! That's how I'm doing. Look, you, look, you still, you look, read. you, you still, got, you still up there in the clouds. You, you real up there? You still up there in the cloud? See, a lot of people do not know. Having seven children. This after seven children, exactly. A lot of people do not know that you sang soprano in the Clark Sisters alongside of your baby sister Karen. And I let me tell you, there's so Correct. there's so many tracks unworthy. Uh, I can't remember all of them right now, but there's so many tracks to where you can hear your soprano voice dominating. You know when Karen would drop the alto, or either it went, when she would be singing lead. You know, and it's good to hear right. exactly. that you still Correct. have your soprano. And since we're talking, since you sung in, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know something before she even tell you. That she is working <laughs> on some music, and there's a team that is getting it together. Some photo shoots going on, some meetings, some things in the back room, and there's going to be a single that is going to be dropping in just a little while. And I am terribly excited about it, and I'm going to be working along with the team. So Amen. this is going to be sick, Ning. Yes. It's gonna be sickening. Yes. So get ready for that. So <laughs> since, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, so let me let me say this. Let me ask you this, Denise. This is part four. Yes, They're probably gonna be a four, five, and six because you are one of the most requested um guests on this platform. Thousands of people are listening and watching hey. now. We love we love oh talking to you, you and hearing your point of view and hearing your experience. So since these interviews have happened, mm. what has been the response? Who have you heard from? What is happening with Denise? Okay, first of all, thank you again for this platform. In Jesus' name, we give him all the praise, right? Right. And then secondly, to the worldwide universe, Okay. globally, um, I actually been hearing from Germany and London, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what's going on? The Lord okay. has moved mightily. And I'm so grateful that the, the, the wonderful love that's coming from the people, unsaved, saved, whatever your gender is, it's just a wonderful feeling. Hmm. To uh, know that people are responding to me. It's, some have put me in tears hmm. simply because of the love that I'm receiving. It, I get broken up sometimes uh, basically because um, it's just so heartfelt deeply. Hmm. Many of them have been re um, responding in private messages mm -hmm. and DM and... Um, you know, I'm so glad that you boldly speak mm. out. It has caused me to become very uh, strong and, and mm. stand up against this. Mm. To know that you have, uh, for one, been a peacemaker by keeping quiet. Who does that for 40 years? But Moses. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, um, the love of, of responded. So you did clarify that I do sing soprano he's talking about high to those who go with a alto soprano and tenor he would be talking about tenor but he's saying it right the high soprano mm -hmm. and karen and i we do write that together you can hear the, the distinct yeah. between our voices right um 
And thanks be the Lord. But Twinkie always have given us on each album and everybody leaves. So it's no big eyes and no little U's. Yeah. Okay. Um, people be careful about your favorite and be careful because that causes friction. Hmm. That causes friction. And you don't want to divide. We're supposed to come together. Paul said, let there be no division hmm. among you. Amen. Amen. Okay. <laughs> then don't be a part of one causing discord. Okay. okay? And that that you don't know truthfully about. Now, my one of my sisters said, y'all just need to shut up. I'm not going to rule like that. I will say it this way. Be quiet. <laughs> Bible says don't, don't, no, don't be a tail barrier. That means mm -hmm. taking a tail from one person to the next. Mm -hmm. In a small uh, term, gossip. It's a, it's a sin to gossip. Are you there, Brother Larry? I'm here. Okay, because I heard a beep. Now you know if I bumped you off. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, also, um, you asked the question. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I need to say this. For those who didn't hear, he brought you up to date on uh, where things are. My son, Larry, my eldest one, um, came forward and said, my mom's not lying. Mm -hmm. Well, at least my son spoke up for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> You would think, how, how did my son, son refer to him? I'm going to refer to him the way he did. The three amigos. Mm -hmm. And I don't get the fourth one a pass either. Know that. Figure that one out, okay? Um, and the reason I say that is because all of us are either in our 40s or 60s, 50s or 60s, pardon me. Mm -hmm. I'm 65, and I'm the eldest of the other ones that's under me. It's one above me and two above me. It's my... Uh, Brother Leo and uh, Jackie, mm -hmm. here for my mother's first meal. As far as uh, spilling the tea, as the younger people are saying, or throwing shade, consider it what you want. I'm doing what God has set me out to do. <laughs> he put me on assignment for me to speak out and expose what the enemy's trying to hide. Mm -hmm. This is why some of you all can't get delivered. You stay sick. You have anger in your heart. I mean, it doesn't mean that it's not justified, but don't let it be said by God, you was talking among them, hmm. and you didn't straighten it out. Hmm. We don't ever want to hear uh, to God, uh, uh, when judgment day comes and life, uh, the book of life is open. And for those that don't know, everything that you speak, say, and even think about, the thought, hmm. is being recorded. So... That's why it's important that you watch your tongue because you could really, as James tell us about the, your tongue, can literally kill somebody by their feelings being hurt. Hmm. And many families are struggling with that because somebody has said something, be it their children, be it a cousin, or be a, well, how about never being invited to a reunion? Hmm. Those kind of things. So, mm. see, you sitting back looking at that, and you see if people doing things, how come you're not calling them out? What are you afraid of? Mm. Mm. The Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of free fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And when you hear me preaching, I don't say says of, of this, touch your neighbor. Forget touching your neighbor. Do you know your word or what? Get it? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know it, you don't know it when I quote it or anybody quote it. Mm -hmm. and it's right. One That's why you yourself have to spend quiet time with God. You have to have a relationship with God. Right. That's what I did, Brother Larry. Right. Um, and, that, and, and one of the... And, and, and in doing so... Go ahead. What I wanted to say is, and that's why one of the things, because somebody would ask me, you know, why would Denise be talking out? You know, it can't answer every every person's question, but I think it would be an injustice. And I'm going to. I think it would be an <laughs> injustice to know that somebody hasn't told their side of the story. And this is not something that is mm -hmm. private. 
everything that you straightened out in the first three interviews were things that have been said about you for you facts and the conversations and and that have been shot to us as fans and these things were not true and i'm glad that you spoke forward and you clarified these things i understand the family has issues and things of that nature and we probably we really all passed that we get it we love the clark sisters and all the drama that's and that's surrounding it we see it but the thing is we love the clark sisters we want you guys back together we want things to be fixed we want you to to take your rightful place back with your sisters we want you guys to, to just be be together so i don't I don't see why anybody would feel any kind of way about you and your son, Larry, now speaking out and just telling your side you've been quiet for 40 something years. It is it, that, that that's not even good for your physical body and for psychologically, Absolutely. your emotional it's body correct. for you to stay bottled and up and keeping stuff that. quiet. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I, my hats mm-hmm. are off to you, and I'm not. And people say you taking size. Well, I don't think I'm taking size, but I ain't found it. And she said to be a lie. The truth is the truth. How you gonna not? <laughs> how you gonna not go along with the truth? I, that's what they I'm saying. And I, and you, and you can, and you can, mm-hmm. and, you can mm-hmm. and you can take, and you can be support Denise and support the Clark sisters. You can support and love both. But you, but there's a, a you can't yeah. deny the truth. And I researched her whole story out, That's right. and That's it right. is the truth. I I don't know nothing. That's the, I don't know nothing that's to do with that. I mean, and it is the absolute truth. Now I want to ask you a few questions, Denise. I got a few questions from the fans. If you don't want to ask the, answer the question, just let me know that you don't want to answer the, answer the question. Uh, before I ask her these questions, I do want to put this flyer up for those of you that want to support what the team is going to be doing concerning her project, concerning the travel surrounding it, concerning the photo shoots. If you <laughs> love Denise, support what she's doing. Bring that over. It's a new cash app. Don't use the one you used before. This is a new one. I'm going to ask, in fact, those of you that, you know, if for everything you give to Larry Live tonight, give double, triple over there to um, what she has going on because there's going to be a great body of work, one or two tracks that are going to be delete, de- released, and she's going to be singing on them, and we're going to be bringing that to you. It's dollar sign Dr. D. Bradford. That's dollar sign Dr. D. Bradford. <clears throat> and make sure that um, you will send it over. Say, I don't have Cash App or something. Well, if you want to give it a different kind of way on one of my platforms, just put in the memo, Dr. D. Bradford, and I'll make sure that it get to um, financial support and what she has going on. All right, so, say, oh, and Instagram. Instagram, her official, there are a few for fans, but the one that she is um, approving the post and things of that nature um, through her um her booking agent content right now is um, at official Denise Clark Bradford. All right. So you got that. And the contact and you can bring um, us back over the contact. Her contact person when it comes to bookings is Nolan Pruitt. P-R-U-I-T-T is right here in Atlanta. His phone number is 270-869-869. Four two seven nine, and the email for the bookings is DC Bradford Team at gmail.com. That's DC Bradford Team at gmail.com. New music is coming. All right, so let me get with the questions that come from some of the fans that said we want to ask her these questions since she's going to be back and also see how she has been doing. Um, the first thing that I want to ask you is concerning something that Larry said. Well, let me let me ask. Can I make? Oh yeah. I need to make a statement. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I want to like I I was it started off you know when the Lord take over I just keep it moving. Mm-hmm. And I know you respect that, so I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, I I respect the fact that you get quiet mm-hmm. and you allow the spirit to roll. I I am so thankful that you have not only that insight. You are therapeutic. <laughs> Nobody has to find out whether you got degrees or not. You're very therapeutic to the world. Why? Mm. And people really do need to support. We need to re- support him sincerely because mm. it takes a lot of time. 
It takes a lot of uh, editing. Hmm. It takes, uh, back, especially for these back-to-back programs, you know. Mm-hmm. He go, He allows you to go in depth. He doesn't just do a one-hour show. Hmm. But whatever way the Lord is leading, we can see that. He's impartial to where the God allowing God to move. He doesn't put a time limit mm-hmm. on you guys, the people that are calling in, and your concerns and questions and your uh, inquiry. So we have to support that. Just like he stated about me coming up to do projects, I have no money to do no projects with. So what, what do you want from me? <laughs> you <don't, laughs> if you don't help me, there cannot be nothing, okay? <laughs> I, I mentioned in the last interview, I get nothing, no royalties, no nothing. Since the day I stopped mm-hmm. with them when they had promised otherwise. But that's okay. I'm still alive. I'm 65. I'm thankful to God. I'm still in my right mind after raising seven. They all grown now, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm just grateful to the world. So that's why I want to say, I really, that's why I came on singing. I want you, the world. To receive that, hmm. a big hugs and kisses that I couldn't throw out to you no other way but through the air like this. Mm. And thank God for the digital system, the internet, and all of those. Also, this is on me too. Be careful what you are supporting on your pages. Mm. On my pages or the pages that the Lord have allowed to come about, and there are three other ones that I approved of. Um, it's the fan page of Denise Clark. It's another one that's um, Denise Clark, and they have a musical note. And um, uh, the other one is, I um, can't forget them, because now some of my sister's fans are coming over on my page. And thank you so much for that love. I really appreciate that. Um, but be careful what you put on the page. I had to... Uh, it, Someone seems to think it was a mistake, but let me just say it, the rules on my page. Do not advertise. Do not sell no product. Mm-hmm. Do not go for books and anything else. If you want some beautiful sayings that I have, um, that's on title, I will use them, and I will put your name as credited to it. If not, I will allow you to put it out there. But do not let me chastise you because you think you're just going to run over here and cause situations that where you let this person do it. And I want, no, 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 no. Somebody put a flyer on my page and I distinctively, it seemed like it went on the main feed. Well, so good. (laughs) Um, This is not the page. This is not that kind of page, meaning... There's other pages that allow you to do that. They welcome that. Not over here. Because it has to be about the Holy Ghost. It has to be about the Father. It has to be about the Son. Okay? So we, them that are in the world, they're big time in what they're doing. Why not let us be big time in what we're doing? Mm-hmm. Our God is greater than any God. G, small G-O-D. And when um, <laughs> Brother Larry well, was giving out the... Uh, Cash app, in case you guys can't distinguish what letter he's saying, because D's can be B's like in boys. Mm. So it's Denise, it's Dr. D like in David, R like in Reed, D like in David again, B for boys, yeah, R, red, A, apple, B again like in David, and Ford likes a car. F O R D. Hmm. So it's Dr. D R. You can put the R small K. Uh, Pat in the D, which is this one, Denise. And then Bradford. So you really have four main letters that you need to think about. And then um, <laughs> that's the end on that. Okay. okay. All right. We Back got. To the questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, Go ahead. I'm going to tell y'all, just so y'all know, I'm letting, I'm letting her talk more, and there's a reason why. Because when I'm on the phone, this is her. When I'm on the phone with her, she she, she ain't but 65, but she's like a 85, 90-year-old mother when it comes to her love for God, <laughs> when it comes to a conversation. <laughs> we'll be talking about something, and she said, ah! 
Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's pray, Larry. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you. And I have to go right into prayer. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. I'm start walking in my room. You know, but I love that God was raised around of the of the of the old saints. <laughs> you know, so but this is her. And so, oh God, some of you may feel like, okay, she rambling from thing to thing. Let me tell you. This is how old school church mothers are. And the way Maddie Moss raised Amen. all them girls, they all got their old school way about them, their point of views, <coughs> their perspectives. We saw that with Dorinda on the Preachers of Detroit, their perspectives. It's old school. I celebrate it. I like it. I love it, especially when they're like Denise. She had these old school standards and perspectives and beliefs, and she lived them. I ain't got no problem with that. You know, when you start talking about you old school and all of this, but then you ain't living it and it, it don't convict you the way you operate, you know, that's that's one thing. But she lived this thing. So let's get into the question. The main one of the questions that I wanted to ask. Hold on, let me pull it up because I wrote it down. Let me go. Here question it is. Question number one. All right, question number one. Here we go. You said Wait, 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 wait. wait. If, if they trying to be nosy, I'm gonna say nosy. That's okay? no, that's no that problem. Means I'm not gonna answer it. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. This this is the first question, and, it, and you know I, I have the responsibility to ask the questions of the people. And so if you you made a statement, yeah. and you made a statement, you said I kept mines. I don't know what they did with theirs. What did you mean by that? We were talking about children. Right. And so, what part of that is not understood? I kept my children. I don't know what they did about theirs. Okay. okay. I kept mine. And this ain't no allegedly. This is what I know. So I'm going to leave it at that statement. Okay. Grown ups, pick it up from there. Explain it to your children. Okay, got you. All right, let's go to the next question. I'm about, mm -hmm. to, I'm about to holler. That was funny, you know. It's <laughs> I'm not responsible for I'm not responsible for what goes on my body, and I had seven children that I brought to life by the grace and gracious mercy and kindness of God. He made me responsible to be over them. Okay. And um, that's what I taught them as well. You know, you don't do away with what God allows to come through your birth canal. How mm. dare you? You didn't get aborted. Mm. So who are you to abort somebody? So that takes me That's to my. That's all it needs to be said. That takes me to my next question because Larry said, "For you verify this for us." He said that he was almost aborted. So you, so is, is, is what he's saying is true? Is that what you're talking That's about? True. Hmm. What my son Larry said is true. Um, I've been. I was pressured. I was counseled to do that. I was threatened to do that. <laughs> And um, because I, I lay before the Lord, um, there was no way that was ever a thought in my mind. However, it came to a point where I actually walked into a clinic. Mm. And when they called my name under an anonymous name, I got up and walked out. Good God, I'm That's out just how much pressure was put on me. Yeah. For real? And um, I even, yes. When I went to tell, um, speak about that I was pregnant, I had a Bible in my lap. Now, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Bible in my lap as if it was going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, you know, family members, they mean well, but don't let nobody live it. That has passed on, that's dead now, or gone on, on. Don't let them affect you mentally, because I have some repercussions in terms of things that have been said to me that mm. also kept me from stepping out and preaching. Mm. And I'm going to say this, people. I want you to listen to this really, really strong. God will move mm. somebody. Mm. Some team, some organization, mm. hierarchy, principalities, and high places mm. to make sure your ministry, the one he called you to, not the one you called yourself into, mm. but that God himself called 
loved you and you know without a shadow of a doubt because you have a relationship with God. He will move people off the track to keep the train going down the track. Okay. Is that clear? That's, I think that that's crystal clear. That's that's crystal clear. All right, let's go to the next to the next question that I have. And of course, if you don't want to answer, you ain't got to answer. In the video, Larry talked about mm-hmm. um um oh Lord have mercy, I'm scratching on live TV. Uh <laughs> I'm so sorry. I said something that if if they knew, if they knew, <laughs> is that where you're going with this? Said again. Okay. No, no, no. This is what it is. And in, in, in the end, oh, yes, you're right. He said, if they knew, he said, there's a okay. scandal that will shake the thing. Now, I've called you and I read for you a comment that was put up under a post. And you told me a- about it, but we didn't say it here. I don't know if it's that or if it's something else. But he said there was a scandal that the family had that it would totally rock, but he would not say. So it, is that true? Is there a scandal that will rock? If if we knew, did, did he say it? No, he didn't say it. He just said that if he mentioned it. No, no, no. Did did he make that statement? Meaning he just made that statement, right? Yeah, he just made that statement. There is, there is, yeah, and he verified that I didn't lie. No matter what, Dorinda, Karen, Jackie, or Twinkie said. Right. Okay. My son knows me, and he knows what I stand for. Mm-hmm. That's why he finally. My, as much as he gets uh, thrown darts at, and I don't have a problem with it because I understand what people are feeling, how can you sit up there and be doing stuff with your aunt and you ain't looking out for your mother? Mm. So he runs up into that. But people, conviction, has to, that's why I said that no one, if it falls on you, speak out, speak up. But Larry is doing me a favor to this degree. My sister Twinkie has a problem with standing up to people. Mm. That ain't no excuse, and I don't give her no pass on it. Because once somebody wrote this, Brother Larry, out there, uh, Prophet, that um, Twinkie mentioned in her text something to the fact that, my, that I love my sister Nisi, but she's fussy. But she gives me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. <laughs> and, I, and somebody responded saying, that's what big sisters do. Yeah. And I want to say amen so bad. <laughs> I just want to say amen so bad. But I have told Twinkie. I'm going to tell you what that person uh, was alluding to that I felt when I read it. This mm-hmm. is what God brought in my spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, Twinkie, or whosoever. You cannot go. This goes for you all out there, too, in the audience and those that will hear it later on. Mm -hmm. You cannot Mm, mm, mm. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank Mm. you. Bible, 
with the word of God. And I'm not talking about books. I'm <laughs> talking about the Bible. I don't care what version you use, as long as it's understood. And it's not taken away from. I have one Bible that had the Arabic, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the way it originally was wrote, in the Greek and the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And it, it takes, it, some of the, the uh, translations, Brother Larry, takes mm -hmm. away from it. But God will reveal himself to you. You can always pray before you study mm -hmm. and ask God to let you receive in your spirit, which is him and which is not what not to take in. It was, all, it, was, is out there. it was almost like you were about to say something and then you got called up. And this happened to us on the phone before. What was it? What what was you said you cannot and you were about to say something. What was you were about to say? I got caught up for real. It, 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 I was sometimes revisiting these things. I'm healed. And please don't send me anything telling me. Uh, now I want you to say what's about them. I don't have nothing to do with what you say to him, them, mm -hmm. uh, him or whoever. But please, and this is not being arrogant. Because I am a person that is very sensitive to people and their feelings. I had to move my children away from out of Michigan because I was not going to let them go through the pressure that was being put on me. Mm. It was times, and this ain't no allegedly, it was times when my family would be out singing and I knew nothing about it. And people the next day would call me or see me on the street and say, where was you at, girl? Yesterday. Last night at our church. How come you wasn't there? My family? You talking about? Yeah. Your sisters. What, what about them? They was at the, our church last night singing. Why weren't you there? I said, I ain't know nothing about it. Nothing. That has happened hundreds and hundreds of times in the different states that I've lived. I lived in Maryland. I went back to Michigan. I lived in L.A. I lived in the Bay Area, down by Hercules, on the, near the water, near San Francisco. And now I'm in Sacramento. But I wasn't going to let my boys grow up, hmm. along with my husband, the fact that they would be inferior because or want to jump on somebody or take them out because of them talking about their mother. This, this that I'm telling you guys is the first time they're hearing it. Mm. Because I didn't want to destroy them from having a hatred spirit against wickedness that they see. Oh, there it is. There it is, uh, Brother Larry. That what I thought was, you cannot let go along with wickedness. That's what I'm about to say. When mm. the Holy Ghost, Josh. Mm. I used to say that to my sister. I, you can't tell me that's peace. I'm just trying to be, look, forget that. You're too old to even be saying something like that. Hmm. Meaning, if you're singing about what that word says, you can't be perplexed. you either hot or cold, as Scripture says. You can't be in the middle, like Mama said, sitting on the fence. You got to jump down off that fence and go on one side or the other. Hmm. As my daddy would preach. My scholar, that's what you hear me coming out with people. And I love y'all so dearly. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your name is. I may not never see you or meet you, but we'll meet each other in glory. Yeah, every, Hallelujah. I'm, I'm hearing, we'll I'm, I'm getting the emails and the contacts that are coming in now that people are asking what's the mm -hmm. date of the release of the music. You guys are going to just have to follow her IG page. It's Thank at you. official Denise <laughs> Clark Bradford because everything's going to be posted there whenever the, pro the um, record is going to be coming out. And also going to be posted there. Follow her and you see all her interaction and what she's saying. Before the things are posted and said, they get approved through Nolan Pruitt. I give you his information. You know, so she is in the, in the communication process there. You can send her something nice. Put something up under her comment where she can hear something that is positive. Because as you can hear, that she and her children <clears throat> have really suffered a whole lot. of. And he said this in his video. Larry said they had to keep quiet. And they couldn't speak, and only the three, I'm using their turn, only the three amigos and the ones most popular 
their point of view and whatever they had to say and do was put out there. And you guys, and that's true. it's so interesting because we see this even with the preachers, whenever um, things happen, they're able to go to these platforms and shop to us their version of the truth. We accept that they continue to go mm-hmm. because they're the gifted ones. They are the ones that we love. They are the ones that, you know, they're, they're pretty. They have charisma. They're like our gospel celebrities and nobody wants to believe that your gospel celebrity could do something wrong. And I'm just the kind of person I still somebody told me say, I can't never listen to the Clark sisters music anymore because of everything that we found out. Well, that ain't me. I still listen to the Clark sister music. I still love them. I still celebrate them because I understand that they are vessels and they have flaws and that they are. I don't care how perfect their hair and makeup, but they are not perfect. And I am not never, ever, mm. even, you know, I love Daddy Jakes. You know, I love Baby Jakes. Talked about him for years on the show. Also, the Smitty, the one I can't name, ain't supposed to be naming, and all these other people. I love them and talked about mm-hmm. them prior. But when it came to what was wrong, especially when it's causing harm to somebody else, I ain't talking about them having girlfriend, yeah. boyfriends, yeah. and all that. Because for exactly. real, when it comes to me... I know people aren't perfect, so that don't bother me. But when you talk about bringing harm to somebody, that, and this and this brings exactly. pain, and in some cases, I looked at yeah. Larry, and I'm pretty sure Denise ha- probably has had to do some counseling too. But Larry, to me, he needs counseling. He was talking with his eyes closed, like he had to whisper and be quiet. I said, "This looks like a 12 year old boy who has been hit upside the head okay. and abused. This and is not that, good." That, exactly. That's the same abuse that I was under, only they doing it to him now. Mm-hmm. When they went out to Larry, my son, mm-hmm. and he kept this from me. But one day he came out and he said, Mom, I got a letter. And I said, a letter from whom? I already know where he's going. You know your children. Mm-hmm. You know when they about to say something, mm-hmm. and you know what they know what they will stand to hear, and what you better not say, mm-hmm. as in a lie. Mm-hmm. You better speak the truth, or shut, or be quiet, mm-hmm. or don't say nothing at all. Right. Okay. It's better you keep quiet if you don't know. That's why Larry Reed always puts up allegedly. <laughs> he still has to protect himself because one. He's getting it through a, a, a secondhand person, mm-hmm. unless they actually themselves, like me, mm-hmm. have been through it. And mm-hmm. the, the same kind of spirit that has, he's a man, and I'm a female, he's a male, and the same, I couldn't even see that. I had to turn my face away from the spring when my son was flicking. I can't stand to be broke down like that. Mm-hmm. That's just here he is, a man. He's got a wife. He's got three children. He probably can tell you how many times on one hand that any of them have seen him or he sees them. Mm. Mm. That's why when I had enough, I had enough. Now, when he told me about this letter, and see, I don't care what position none of the family members, even our in-laws, cousins, nephews and nieces, none of them have spoken to me. Now, Larry's right there. He's getting what I got back in the 70s. Hmm. And now they're working on him. So he's got a family he's got to face up to. And he said to me one day, Mom, you can see the kids, but I don't want this Clark children. To mess up our family. Mm. And I said, Well, if that means for me not to come around, if you're going to tell me how I should do your children, then that's so fair to me, but I'll take it. Because I understand what they did to you. They only do it to you now because you belong to, to me. You, you're my. And I can't stand back and see that. So I'll go along with it. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so say but so say that again. Letter, Denise, I couldn't make out some of what you said, but it was important. Say that part again about you went along with what? The fact that, well, I didn't feel like he or his wife, they had, we had FaceTimed each other, and um, he sent the kids, you know, they put them up for bed, so, of course, they wouldn't hear. Children shouldn't hear. Mm-hmm. And I heard so much when I was young. Oh, my. 
goodness, that's why sometimes you didn't see me in church. It wasn't that I didn't want to come, <laughs> but I was hearing, if that's heaven, I'd rather go to hell. <laughs> see, that's why people have to be careful how they're living in front of a person. Don't think this is always you and your opinion and your satisfaction. You're not willing to compromise or meet somebody halfway. Mm -hmm. It don't work that way. It works, life works, even in a marriage, you have to compromise. It's not his way, it's not your way when it comes to biblical principle. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about what the world do and how they run things. We're above a different soul. When we have said yes to Christ and decided to make him as our, our, our Savior, we're going to follow those ways. So you went and along... And right now, just on TV... So, excuse me, so you went along with... Um, sort of separating from him and the kids so that he won't get the pressure that you got because he if, if, because of his connection to you. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm so offended by him that he would need to say that. But see, that let me know. They didn't put heart in him. So now he he feels disdain to even have me around. In, in other words, well, he can't have me around. I can't be around now because we're in different states. He's in Michigan. I'm in California. But it has caused a, a disconnect because, see, Larry's my firstborn, so he's seen more than the rest of the guys mm -hmm. have. And I'm sip, I'm sympathetic. I sip, his sensitive, I'm trying to say it in a, a neat way, but not be vulgar in, in, in the harshness right, of it okay. because that's not my nature. My mm -hmm. heart is not like that. So when you're looking at him, I can tell he's pulling back. He wants to say something, yeah, but yeah. he's pulling back because he yeah. don't want to let his mouth cause somebody else to fall by the wayside like he's been hit. My yeah. son has been hit. Anybody know about boxing? Know that when you hit below the waistline, ladies, men already know this, <laughs> but when you hit, when you're boxing and legal boxing, um, when you hit below the belt, they say, you're hitting below the waistline which could danger them. Mm. When you hit a man in a lower part of his body, you can really kill him. Well, see, that's what and he so looked like. He, some of these. I'm sorry to interrupt. He he looked like. Oh, you good? You good? He looked like that. He had been beat. He looked like he couldn't speak, and he was it was nervous and scared. And so I could tell. And then I did hear some rumors. Um, so I'm, and I'm gonna call them rumors, but I really I heard from a mm -hmm. couple of reliable sources that he had been threatened and that he had been told that he needed to be quiet. He had been told by some of the church leaders that don't you say anything else. He even confessed in this video that Twinkie had said to him, don't go live again. So if you got somebody who's consistently telling you over and over that you can't speak. And so now after he done sort of separated himself from you all these years, now he's running into the same things that you ran into. And Correct. now he's like, okay, my mom, Correct. she was not lying and she was um, telling the truth. Now let me ask you, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. How? Wait, wait, wait. You're to forget this. Hold your point because okay. I know you, you, you do this often. Okay. While it's in my mind because you'll, you'll bring me back to it again okay. like you did before. You're about to pay my attention. Thank okay. you so much because I did need that to come out. Mm -hmm. When I told Twinkie, you need to stop going along with wrongdoing. How in the world can all of y'all go out of town, stand up on a stage, a pulpit, or outside in a festival and speak about love? And the Lord all in the same song, and you all are not even saying hi and bye me. That can scare us. I got robbed in Detroit at gunpoint. Mm. And it was in my mama's uh, uh, a car. Going through a drive through she had sent me to go. Um, I believe I said this in the first testimony, too, one mm -hmm. of the three. But mm -hmm. for those who didn't hear it, that don't know what I would be, be uh, applying to, um, mama had someone that passed away in a choir. Mm -hmm. The community choir. Now, mind you, she had to have a community choir with separate from the choir that she had originally made that was called the Southwestern Michigan State Choir. So this was a community choir for whosoever will come of all faith, okay? Mm -hmm. And because for the same reasons, you better not go here because you your representation, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Or the leader, yada, yada, yada. Okay, those are forms of threat, and you don't take, you don't listen to that kind of stuff. Put their license down, give them back to them, 
because the one you need to be fearful of is God Almighty. I've gone up in these presence, and these presence guys, with all the power, some of them are called shot callers, where mm-hmm. all they do is point, and you better take them out, or they gonna take, somebody going to take you out, and you ain't going to know it's coming. Mm-hmm. That's the way the world operates. And that's why we, as strong as we see the enemy busy, why are we trying to call people into Christ? The very same one. I told them, y'all think y'all got power? That ain't no power. That is no power. But I tell you what, try, try him. Try the one I'm, I'm talking about. Because now I would have walked away if I didn't know the word of God myself. And yeah. now somebody that's been there, I've been working with them 35 years have come to Christ. Now he's preaching to me. He's mm-hmm. trying to tell me, go get him classy. Go get him. <laughs> I said, I don't work like that. So just point, just point. I said, no, leave people alone. They will drop like flies when God timing is up when he's given them so many chances to come right. So for the sake of my, uh, God gave me to stand on me, what my, my twin sister, I call her that, said, he said, God gave that to me, but how could you do it? You got that many kids. You better go. Need some money. I said, he said he was a plot. Who your twin I sister? I said that. You don't know who the closest is. Twinkie. We're close in age, so yeah, that's my daddy call us that. Yeah, y'all, but y'all speak, uh-huh. y'all speak and talk alike, even on the phone. Y'all, y'all is, is very, very, <laughs> yeah. and laugh alike, laugh, laugh alike, laugh. y'all look alike, it's That's very. That's what I'm getting ready to say. I'm going to do a laugh, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should do that high stick. <laughs> Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, now, now like. the question that I want to get back to, and I don't know if you uh, if you purposely didn't answer it, you can just give me a hard no. No, what is it? What was it? What is okay. what is the note. mean? Now, me and you talked, you know, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. If, but what is the scandal that Larry says will rock the family? You have to ask Larry. That's what I told you the last time. Okay. <laughs> what he says, you got to go to him and say. Okay, because now my son shared things with me, and when he gets upset, I observed this. That's why I couldn't look at it. Larry used to stutter because mm-hmm. his mind was thinking faster than he talked. Mm-hmm. But the Lord has delivered him like uh, uh, Moses. Didn't Moses was Moses the one that had yeah, the speech stutter. impediment? Uh-huh. That's right. Okay, Larry was doing the same thing. And when he called me, I knew something wasn't right. But I said, listen, get them jokers together. I'm talking about the three amigos and the fourth one. Mm-hmm. Get them all together. Oh, they messing with, they, I, don't, I don't stand up for my kids. They can stand up for themselves. Mm-hmm. But in this instance, and other family, uh, uh, husbands and cousins and, and nephews and nieces, you call all my sisters in and get a conference call. And I, you call me the minute they all in the room. Don't call me if somebody acts like they grander than the other one, okay? <laughs> well, I, he said, Mom, I'm getting ready to text, text you. I'm getting ready to call you. I'm sitting there, 30 minutes go by. And another 45 minutes and an hour. I said, what is wrong? What's going on? You told me you've been texting. My, I, had to, I had to talk to him before I talked to you. Well, what Larry had shared with me, the reason I called this meeting is, he said, Mom, I got a letter. And I said, okay, what kind of letter you got, Larry? It's a letter stating that my sister is, is suing, your sisters, my aunts, are suing me behind the play that he created from his own youth. He's telling you about the story of his life as the grandchild of Albert Clark and Maddie Clark. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's telling from his own stand view. Nothing negative in it. If anything, more laughter than any. Uh, it, it would be more comedy in it than it would be a negativity. Well, see, I, 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 my children. I, I happen to be around for that, so I, I know about that because okay. Twinkie was um, when my first CD concert release. Me and Larry had the deal in order to book her there, and I actually was responsible for for some of the city dates on the tour. I had, had a lot of um, past the okay, connections at the time. Job. So the next time after he done the play, I want to say 2012, mm-hmm. 
And he began to go book to those dates. We have um, it was the last season of us really talking and dealing a whole lot. And I remember mm-hmm. of him crying on the phone. He was telling what was going on. He was talking to me and my former mm-hmm. assistant at the time. And he was talking okay. about, you know, being sued. So now that there's this movie that is going to be com- c- coming out, which is basically the upgrade of the play that Larry was doing. And so it's very interesting now that this is happening. And I guess that's the reason why that they sort of stopped him from doing it because they knew that it's something that they they wanted to do. And I think he feels a certain kind of way uh, about that. Now, um, well, also what I want. Well, let me say this: mm-hmm. when you when when by the time it got to you, did he state in his breaking down? Were you as a man? able to feel his feelings on how deep that hurt was. Yeah, and so that was the thing because it was too darn much. I mean, I'm like, why are you doing all this crap? Exactly. I said, this is something something else exactly. is connected to this. And and my former assistant said the same thing. Cause actually, the conversation started with him, you know, because he was my assistant. So they were he would liaison through him, right. and then me and Larry began to talk mm-hmm. um, back and forth. You mm-hmm. know, so yeah, I knew mm-hmm. then that there was something up, and there were some things that he would share. You know, but um. You were the one that really broke the ice when your video first came out, when you were actually looking for for Twinkie at the time. All right, now I'm um, that's just to talk about before exactly. we, before we get onto something else. I want to talk about um, a post I saw that you done. You were celebrating Raven. I think her name is Raven. Um, Raven. Let me find her last name. Goodman, yeah, Goodwin? yeah, Goodwin. I think that's like her that. last name. Oh, my computer just froze up, but she's actually playing the role of your mom. I think I put that. Is that in here? The role the, um, of her, a picture of her playing the role of Madame Mouse Claw. But anyway, this came on the internet and everybody was talking about it. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put your response back to her because she made a post, really been excited that she was actually able to play one of the Clark sisters. And my computer is really acting up. But you said to her, greetings to the beautiful and talented Miss Raven Goodwin. In so many ways, I have reflected on everything that has transpired. I would have loved to have met you and actually get a chance to talk and bond. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed the chance. I would have loved to share with you my heart and passion for the Lord Jesus Christ, my story, and my career journey. My journey has included being front and center on stages across this country and across seas, singing with my sisters and at moments, my beautiful and anointed mother, Dr. Manny Moss Clark. I would have loved to share a few things with you, such as how at times I made up the choreography for the group, like the 1983 Grammy performances and a few others. I would also love to share my experience pastoring and taking the word of the Lord into many prisons in the state of California and other rehab facilities for battered and addicted men and women. I also the undeniable love I had and still have for my father, the late Pastor Albert Clark, the man that inspired me to go yes. from bachelor's all the way to doctorate degree. <clears throat> By watching him and my mother yes. dissect the word of God at the kitchen table in front of me, it sparked more of a yearning for the word of God, also being the mother of seven handsome, all successful men that make me very <laughs> proud to be their mother. To mention mm-hmm. just a few, I wish I could have helped make this yo man's job a little easy for you i would have loved for you to get to know my humanity and my spiritual side in closing i pray and wish you all the best that god has in store for you sweetheart i've been following your career i pray coming up some knowledge of my life will cause you even the more to have a deeper relationship with jesus christ knowing that it's him we live, move, have our being. I trust that Amen. the Holy Spirit of God uh-huh. revealed to you things no man could to have helped you on this journey. Maybe yes. one Amen. day our paths will cross. Until then, be forever blessed. Sincerely, Apostle Denise Clark Bradford. Now, when I read this, when I saw this, when it was sent to me, I heard, mm-hmm. and, and I want to talk about that because I heard the sister that wasn't, Included in getting to meet her or the entire staff, the people that are 
playing the roles, the characters, the cast that are playing the roles. I heard you reaching out and mm-hmm. wanting to share with her probably what she has not been told since the producers did not contact you concerning this movie at all. Is that correct? They haven't contacted you, right? Since the producers did not correct. contact you for this, so your input is not <clears throat> at all in this story that not, it, that, that you None. that you are depicted in. You know, so that's what I heard. So it threw me into a train of thought and a pattern of thought. And I began, I put myself in your shoes and I thought about how I don't, I don't know how you, and that maybe you guys that are watching feel different. I don't know. I don't have your level of restraint. I I don't have it. If I have been you, it's 41 (laughs) years. Because because I look I look at that and I say she's I say I see someone who's trying to put who's who's interjecting her input you know her story and, and bleeding on this actor some so that she could really get the spirit of who who you are the role that she's playing there is no way in hell or in heaven that Larry Reed would have sat quiet for forty one years and allow my story to be told the way somebody else wanted to be told with a whole lot of decorations with lies throughout here and there. I don't know. I will bust. I will split down the middle. I will end, I will end up disassociative. For what? For what? I don't know how For you what? did. Why? Let, them go. Let them go on and lie. A lie can't stand. And anybody who supports them, you better deal with God about that because you're looking for liars. And God does not have a, a, a no kind of characteristic associated with deception. How you gonna listen to half of a story or a piece of a story? My sister's been told me, we gonna show you we gonna do without you. Really? That ain't allegedly. I was fed. That was fed to me. And then when Twinkie dropped out because she got tired of them mistreat me because I would take to Twinkie, are you sitting up there sick? You just going along with them and you ain't even saying nothing. Mm-hmm. She said, you just don't mean you can stand up to them. Look, we all from the same blood, supposedly. Okay, we lived in the same house, went to the same church. What part of that that they didn't get and you didn't get? Because mm. I got it. And then I kept on going because I refused to act like what you all are acting like to me. I couldn't listen. I couldn't even listen. People love their dogs and live in thousands and thousands of dollars, dollars to their animals and pets mm. that will never touch no money. Okay? And for me to sit back, and see this going on, I, I was, there was a time we was in uh, recording, I said that before, but to the new people, or the add on to what I left off, mm-hmm. when I got to the radio, uh, uh, studio to record after Twinkie and all of us have a uh, practice, 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 practice. Mm-hmm. I mean, Twinkie ain't no, no, no lighter than Mama. She would drill all funny <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. She would drill all <laughs> See, one thing about Twinkie's songs back then, mm-hmm. when the anointing was thick, mm-hmm. was all of her songs had scriptures in them. And that's why people were so effective. And all of them, what they're saying to me was, I remember the days of old. I remember mm-hmm. when you was a part of the group. I remember yada, yada, this, and yada, yada, that. Okay, I don't have to paint my own parade because there ain't no parade for me to point. Mm-hmm. It's, hey, it's Jesus, okay? Mm-hmm. He, he's the one. They told me, for the saving of your family, you are going to uh, make the stand. Well, Twinkie had it first, and she told me. That's why the conversation was so vivid. I'm like, why well, could you not answer God, girl? Don't you know that's dangerous? You know what? I, 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 let I me let me interject it. right here. And this this I I'm gonna mm-hmm. ver- I'm gonna tell you from my vantage point what it looked like. I believe what you're saying okay. because I remember. See, I was following y'all music back to back. And I remember when Twinkie mm-hmm. got out of the group and Twinkie was more fierce. And Twinkie had an edge. She Correct. had an edge to her. It yeah. was it was even in her singing. It was in everything she did. It was in the way that she approached oh, every song goodness. when she played. She was a gr- more had more aggression, and I attribute it to her failed marriage. But now, looking, you know, what once you're telling me, it's like that. Eventually, she got wore down, and then she just began to get quiet versus fighting. She said, "I'm not gonna fight no more. I'm just gonna, you know, do what I do because I and enjoy." She went with the majority, mm-hmm. and I said no. I said, stand alone if you have to. When mm-hmm. me and her pulled out, when Tweaky pulled out, Brother Larry, and 
said, okay, I, I, that's when you don't, you didn't see but three. The, the real three amigos that, that my son talked about, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, that's why I said, people, be careful what you say, because you guys are some of the reason the discord is in this family. Mm. You're not going to let us all on my sisters. Mm. Some of you all have gone along with wrongdoing with them because you're either starstruck, which is nothing in God. Ain't nobody greater than God. Is. The star is God. He's mm-hmm. the light. Mm-hmm. We don't want no light to give you. <clears throat> and, and and this is why that rebuke that Larry has been doing, uh, read, so I'll just restart to read so y'all won't think I'm talking about my son. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what Reed is, is trying to, to pull, it's not that he's being malicious, Mm-mm. exposing what the Lord has given him and laid in his spirit. Mm-hmm. One thing about this man I do know is his sensitivity with the things that he happened to have gone through, because I didn't know his testimony until after I started looking him up after the conversation I had with him, mm-hmm. with you guys. This is why I'm loving the fact that the audience is, is I'm, I'm, I'm totally you know, shocked that you said that I'm one of the uh, ones that the people are asking for. That was never intended. I, never, I had no <laughs> intention to come in public mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't stop the rolling uh, train of God. I'm right. too afraid to lay down at night thinking my conscience would bother me. I didn't want to preach, and I was in my sleep. And I, I was just, uh, the Holy Ghost had me at the pulpit, and I was just hitting on that pulpit, um, podium. Mm-hmm. Whatever I was saying in, in the dream. Uh-huh. And I woke up and said, who's talking in this room? <laughs> <laughs> It was me preaching to my own self mm-hmm. in the dream. And that's when I said, I said okay, I will, I will, I will. I said, but you already have somebody else that's, that's preaching in the group. <laughs> it got said, it didn't take a whole nother, how many ever years I was, let's say 40 years or 30 years, to make another you, to be able to effectively walk this walk so that people will know and come to know me. Because of what you have gone through and what I trusted you with going through in knowing that you, I was going to get all the time delivered you. Because that's in the plan. That's why I got that who, who you think you're fooling. He, right. made the past, uh, he made the master plan. He made the master plan. Your mask and everything else and anything you hear now, if it don't line up with the word of God, you better check it. Right. Now, I don't care if it's coming from a child to, to the highest uh, Archie, because if enough of us, and we we come in, in in people, we are the representation of the body of Christ. Speak up, stand up, the, expose up. The, the, because if not, the blood is gonna be held on you. Go ahead, brother. Denise, I got two last questions, and then I'm gonna let you go and open up the lines. And these two are going to be okay. heavy because I pulled this from the comments section on instagram and i said i'm going to ask denise directly i did ask you you answered i'm going to ask you again live and you if you feel comfortable answering this question concerning something concerning um some infidelity in the family um i'm going to ask you that question and a question about the case because we want to know what happened with the case but i'm gonna run this commercial now and when i come back i'm going to ask denise these two questions and then we're going to open up the lines okay. i want you guys to go and download right now my new single smile or you can stream it and then those of you that have been contacting me say you want coaching you need you need um uh, someone to help coach you when it comes to this to prayer when it comes to meditation when it comes to affirmation when it, you're transitioning out of one relationship to the next you want to start a business you want to find out how to do mm-hmm. what i am doing how i got to this and the technicalities mm-hmm. you can sign up for one of the options on my website not i am larry yeah. but life guide for you.com i'll run that commercial or you just want personal prophecy and prayer and counseling you can book me for that yeah. so these two commercials we're going to run right now write this these things down and we're coming back and i'm going to ask denise these two questions that i found online 
that was sent to me and was being reposted. I didn't see no vlogger talk about it. I guess because it was scared, but I ain't scared, so I'm going to ask you. You want to find out what truth is. When I come right back, I'm going to ask the question. <laughs> Be right back. Life Guide Service provides divine direction and insight for your life and future. Larry D. Reed specializes in spiritual guidance through prophecy, counsel, and dream interpretation. As he communicates with people, within minutes, Larry D. Reed begins to engage the spirit world, seeing and hearing things on their behalf that are vital, pertinent, and necessary for the success of their destiny. Having served thousands of people from all walks of life for over 20 years, Larry D. Reed has been and is the life guide. Book your appointment today. I'm getting I'm getting an opportunity. We're back now. Um, I'm getting an opportunity to read some of the comments, and I just want to say this to some of you guys. Um, mm -hmm. It is extremely important um, as it relates to how we treat people that have already been treated ugly, especially by the church. So we're hearing how Apostle Denise Clark Bradford was basically alienated from the, her family and how the coach at church handled her as a woman who got pregnant by one of their bishops. And I'm looking at some of the comments, but then if I have somebody who is, you know, if I'm talking about one of the great golden cows of our church or of our society, whether it is from Beyonce to Bishop Jakes to uh, Michael Jackson to Joel Osteen or Stephen Furtick, the comments shift and it's so favorable for these people. One of the things I want to do with this platform, I want everybody to have, I want us to have a good time laugh number during one. Number two, is right. or three or four mm -hmm. it may be is i want people who have been hurt especially by the powers that be whether in the church or in the world or our government to be able to tell their story Same. and the last thing they need is to look in the comments and then see i'm talking about the victims I ain't talking about the niggas excuse me denise i ain't talking about the niggas mm. that's been fucking <laughs> round and got these children every darn where how in the whole hell and the hell i supposed to sit here in the seat and be okay with somebody being a nigga with a collar on i'm not gonna do that i'm i'm gonna say whatever i i got to say you know but when it comes to a situation like this the last thing denise need to look is in the comments and see y'all joking and saying all kind of crazy stuff now granted i know we could have been joking she probably can take it if she took 41 years as uh, as a slave mm -hmm. you know <laughs> there is a secret okay. or you know Amen. you know but i'm Amen. just saying i'm just saying re remember that you know because we don't want to do victims mm -hmm. like that here who have suffered at the hands of some of these folk we be talking about this all time doing some some kind of crazy man. That's all I had to say about that. But let me go ahead and ask this question that I don't know if you're going to answer. But I called you one day because I was sent the comment section of someone that is in the D Detroit area. I guess it's out of the Kosher Church. Allegedly, they are. Now, you got to put allegedly. Now, it's me talking, Nancy. Um, a allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, this person was saying and was put on the internet. I heard it years ago, still on the internet, it's Google, but I saw it in the comment section. It was sent to me, and I didn't send it to you, but I read it off. And this particular female who allegedly said that she was from Detroit, and I guess she used to go to the church that you guys grew up in, 
And she was saying that allegedly that there was some kind of affair amongst you guys as spouses as relates to the sisters and that there was a fist fight amongst the sisters. And I was very straightforward. And I told you the names and who it was and everything. And you talked about that. Do you and how is that something that you think could be at the root one of the things that could be at the root of this whole hush, hush, Denise, quit talking, Larry, quit talking, because we don't want any of these secrets and family things of this nature to come, to come out on the front street. Do you think that's at the root? Oh, yeah, absolutely. They don't want to be exposed. That's just obvious. Why cover up what's, what truly happened? Now, just because they don't want to admit and they don't want, look, I got a problem with anybody. Like, you can tell I don't care who says what. My <laughs> point is, God is the one I answer to, okay? Mm. Now, I'm not saying, people, don't respect your elders, those who have rule over you. Mm. There's a reason God put that in, in there, okay? But also, to the ones that are in the, the seats or have a call on their life as laypersons, God is going to hold us more accountable because he trusts us to teach the people what is right. Hmm. Not only by what we preach, but why we live in it. Okay. Now I now, know, I know, you, I know, you, I know me, and you, me and you were not there in the bedroom. Me or you were not there in the fist right? fight. But do you believe that that right? is true? Absolutely. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Was that, was that a corner? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 uh-huh, yeah, it was. <laughs> Lord, it's true. And if my mom, it was sad, if mom, if mom and daddy was a, a hair, they wouldn't, y'all know they wouldn't want y'all to be fighting like this. That's the way it was said to me. Uh -huh. Now, the IQ person they disfellowship with. Oh. And may and, and poor, uh, uh, I just you know it's too bad they can't feel like I do, and say the heck he with all of them because you know what, this is real life, and somebody's going this this something's going to hit the wind. Mm. You can't just hush up everybody. Everybody's not going to turn their eyes away because of a name. Mm. Like I told them when they said you came in the name, just stay out from around name. And Jesus' name, they sure didn't go hmm. for our last name and the other ones, the cousin, what did I call them? Now, I, I had just to be said to me recently, one of my boys, I didn't even know he was out there. Mm -hmm. He put out there, I love my auntie, but as far as this movie is concerned, I'm pissed is the word he put. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was just like that. <laughs> Some some heads would have to roll. Okay. You fooling up with my mama? Okay. See, and, and see, I, I got more street to me than any of my sisters because <laughs> I married into a family that was gangs. Oh. Okay. okay? I'm like G A N G S. Mm -hmm. Okay. My first deceased husband. Uh, it, it was his. His testimony was. He got saved when I took him to church. When I, I was going out of the development, and he happened to be watching me. And he said, well, you're going to sugar shop like that. And I said, to church, to a revival. Mr. Hinton was in, 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 the, uh, in L.A. at that time, mm -hmm. one of the Hinton brothers, yeah. Richard and uh, uh, what's the other one's name? But mm -hmm. anyway, uh, from Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I, I, he was under the hood of a car doing mechanical work. He said, you go to a club or nothing? I'm Club Jesus. You want to go? <laughs> Club said, Jesus. If you don't buy it for me, I said, sure, I got time for a soul. Go ahead. So I sat there in my vehicle until he finished showering and so forth, and we went to church. And he came down the aisle. I was down with my head in, in, in my he head, in my hand. 
So I couldn't see anything because I was just praising the Lord and praying for the people who was walking down to the altar call. Mm-hmm. Well, next thing I know, coming back, I looked up and here he was speaking in tongues, coming in, sitting next to me. I was <laughs> like, oh my God, here's just getting the wrong. That's why I know this saving soul stuff ain't no joke. Yeah. And if we're living this kind of life to cover up stuff, shame on you before God Almighty. Now we are the respect being. You all have God is no longer there. That's why people doing anything in any way and mm-hmm. anyhow. Mm-hmm. So not not so, not, in, not in my not on my call. So the re- so the reason why I wanted to bring that up so everybody would know, and there's more. I'm I'm just that's just one of the things I didn't name names and neither did Denise name names. Right. But I did verify this yeah. with the names and details with her off camera. But the reason why I brought that up because I want to show you that, and this is a trend. Well, I saw this last night when I was interviewing Ed because I found out that mm-hmm. allegedly was it last night or the night before? I found out that allegedly when I interviewed Bishop. Eddie Long's eldest son that the reason why he shouted out my address where I'm sitting right now knowing that my kids were here with me knowing you know that 3,000 people was watching he shouted out my address for the purpose of notifying the goons of Smitty the goons of Baby Jakes, they said in a meeting that we have goons. He was in the meeting. Somebody else that was Mm. in the meeting sent Mm. me a recording of the meeting. I didn't know he was friends with them. I didn't know he was in the meeting. I knew Mm. nothing Mm. about Mm. it. I found all all this out later. And his best friends Mm. with Mm. William Murphy, from what I understand. Because you got to remember, Baby Jakes and William Murphy was in his daddy's church for years. They come out of New Birth. You know, so none of that came to my Mm. mind. So the reason why that he mm-hmm. did that was to so if any of those goons want to get stupid for them on me, then they would know where I'm at. I never told y'all, but everybody got goons. <laughs> That's what they don't know. Everybody, yeah. everybody okay. got goons. Okay. Yeah. So, so okay. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, but that, that's that's mm-hmm. neither here or there. You know, and the reason why him. Who you know he questioned my he, look, he, no look, he questioned you. look he said this Denise Your he said so. said we heard that you were gay and that you were sleeping around with preachers and I told him no that's not true and I start and had I not okay. made a decision in that moment to say I'm not gonna be a nigger because I I am I have that side I'm because I know. Egan mm-hmm. watching me on network, not watching me, you know, bounce TV watching me. I know all these people. I'm not going to take it. I don't care what them comments are saying because, you know, ultimately, and exactly. God bless, I love exactly. all the LRF followers, but there's a reason why I'm sitting in this mm-hmm. chair and I can jeopardize that just to play into, you Absolutely. know, the comments or into those watching. So I had to use wisdom and I, no. I know how to play chess. So, right. e- so e- mm-hmm. I part of, how I handled last night had to do with me knowing how to play chess. The other part was me just following what I was feeling from the Holy Spirit, how to handle this. And I'm so glad mm. that I did because mm. had I not, it would have went a, diff- a different way because within 24 hours, as I, I told y'all, I knew that I would be blessed and that I would get signals that would let me know I handled this right because of who was watching. Mm. But this partic- but this wow. was this guy came here Very with cool. the ulterior motive. And and what I almost mm-hmm. said when he questioned my sexuality and something else, my ex wife went in the comments saying, No, that ain't true. Ask me how I know. No, it's true, you know. You know, but uh <laughs> but the thing and, 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 and there ain't nothing wrong with being gay and, and so what if I was, mm-hmm. what the heck that got to do with you sitting here and giving us answers, mm-hmm. telling us what we need to, needed to know. I could have said, but that's what they said about your daddy and all these twenty something boys who they testify. You know, but I didn't I didn't go that route. Mm-hmm. I just listened right, to you y'all right, know I know how right. to be slick. You didn't throw dirt for dirt. You I know how to be slick that's right. at that's the right. mouth. You know, so I'm mm-hmm. like, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I was I said, okay, I see what this is, you know. And uh, but anyway, that that mm-hmm. is what it is, and let's handle that the way handle. But like I said, like I'm getting back to what I'm saying. When you got people who start speaking out, like he said, truth to power, but he don't do that. Speaking truth to power, mm. and you asking questions, just questions, and having an opinion about mm-hmm. what you got going on. 
You wake up a demon. I, you call it whatever you want, but that church oh, yeah. system, oh, that, there is a spirit Bitch. that runs the church system, the political system, and any system, and that That's system it. is not That's in right. favor of people. So when you get somebody telling their mm -hmm. story and somebody telling this is what happened and it was the powers that be, you start fighting against mm. some diabolical, real dark, you know, nasty forces. You know, so I, I, that the reason why I asked her this but question the, live. The, the, let me say this. Let me interrupt you right here. Okay. When he's saying what he's saying, he's telling you he's not fearful of what y'all think you can do. Come on. Because when somebody stands up for what the truth is, yeah, a lot can never stand behind it. Yeah. Any day. And for us that are on a high platform, oh, excuse me, or a high profile. the nigga at that point you where go you don't there. even you ain't gotta go there you well, know you, why the Lord got them you know, but the, the Lord got them I got it the Lord every last one of them but you know Denise there's a part that, there's a Denise there's a part the God got and there's a part I got that's why you gotta have a God and a gun I know but the part God ain't got but the part God ain't got <laughs> I got a gun you know and so this I mean you to they not even that. that's why I said at, they could be gotten I mean you <laughs> that's real you know, but that's I'm not even gonna go into that energy. I want I want to you put, could want, you could I don't want to put the energy. You could out. you said but, it. You but the you reason why exactly. that the reason why I wanted to bring that conversation to you guys. I mean, Denise had off record about the infidelity amongst the you know the the the, the wife swapping sort mm -hmm. of type thing and the fist fight is because there is a pile of bullshit. You hear me? That is up under this mm -hmm. Denise talking. And that is why it ain't just about Denise. And his, and Larry said it. It's the whole pile of it. And every family got it. But the problem exactly. is, but the That's problem exactly. is, the problem is you are a spiritual Christian family. So you are supposed to handle mm -hmm. this like Jesus now, that's would. Where you need to put it that's where you need to put it allegedly. That's where you need to put it allegedly. What? Put that down there. Well, how you about? You say you are a spiritually. <laughs> put it allegedly down there. <laughs> that's where you need to put a leg in. You know, and I, you know, I live with. That's why when, when people come to me, brother Larry, this is what they, they ask me. Oh, uh, some such and such and such such, or they put it out there on comment, and I'll go right to them and say, "You sure about that?" <laughs> oh Did you Lord! Did you grow up in that house? Or did I grow up in it? Yeah. yeah. So don't come, don't come questioning me. You either hear it, don't hear it, throw it away. But you need to keep your mouth where the Lord says it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't feeling out good, you can't be lukewarm. You can't be yeah. in the middle, like Mama said. Yeah. You know. You know, Mama, I don't. Mama, I don't Mama mind. Loved that I, let me tell you this messy is a ministry and sometimes you have to be a mm. look a little bit messy for the purpose for the purpose of exposing a truth or causing a conversation or and i'm not saying you're doing it you know maliciously i mean cause i just embrace that people say larry you messy i said fine but i'm messy i'm okay i'm messy whatever because i will discuss what <laughs> 90 is, seconds I, I will, it's my life it's my life. I will discuss what is it's public. Not like it. 
Call me messy. messy. Call yeah. me messy if you want mm -mm. to. What I'm telling you what's mm -mm. messy is no. a pastor preaching and saying he's spiritual daddy and people call him spiritual father and he calling them sons and posting his sons and his daughters, but then have other children that he won't even claim. He send money to and tell the mama to hush, let me give you all this money a month, mm -hmm. but I mm -hmm. do, do not never tell my Six wife seconds. or boy, the church that I got a child because that's going to mess up my income. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that's wicked. You that is uh, all look, righteous kinds people, of, people know that we're struggling. Righteous folks know that the way of God is struggling. However, he's got a bank that can write out any check. That means if God is dealing with any of you all publicly and privately, mm -hmm. and you know that when you speak the truth, the enemy go to tightening up your purse and tightening up your yeah. wallet, and you don't want to see the ministry go yeah. for it, forget about it. He's got a ram in the bush like yeah. an Abraham, okay? Yeah, yeah. And now, see, if you can, you, if you, 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 if you, have, if you I've could. Seen, I've seen criminals given to, to your bosom. Okay, oh, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They can't hold up what's for you and what's for me, and they don't have to like what we say because the truth is the liar don't want to hear the truth. If, so you got to question their spirit. If 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 there from? was if there was social if there was social media in the times of the apostles and prophets in Jesus Christ. Y'all will be calling them missing okay. because they will be right here exactly. on Facebook. And Jesus was saying over there, that church where y'all buying and selling in that church. I was in there the other day and I went and I told them that they have mm. no business over there buying and selling the church, making it a, a den of thieves, mm. a house of thieves. This is the house of God. It ain't supposed to be like this. Y'all will be calling Jesus missing. So That's I right. don't give a fuck. That's right. All right. So let me say That's this. Right. This is the last question, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Okay, it, it, okay. it, it says, call, all right, Denise, your, it said Oakland County yes. Probate Court under case number 20190003866678-CA. You, the hearing was March the 6th, 2019. So that was a little bit after the last time we talked. Update us what has happened concerning the court case. Okay. On that court date, I was back here in Michigan, where am I at? In California. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had planned to be up there for that time up until the middle of uh, May, mm -hmm. April, May, so that Twinkie could feel comfortable enough by being her own self, not having to be doped up and uh, going against her wishes. My own sister said to me the same thing I heard my mother say. I'm not going to sit back this time around. My mother's in the grave. Hmm. That's all I'm going to say about that. But this time around, I'm not sitting back. I fought for her until the same demons came forth again. And now they're trying to embezzle Twinkie. Hmm. Now, even the lawyer they got, it wasn't the same lawyer from the previous hearing. So they went and got a, a witch doctor. <laughs> in the name of Ben Whitfield, who had represented them all along, and he was the one that told my family, my mm. sisters, my mother, leave Denise alone and go and watch your arms up without her. She's holding up all your career. Mm. I couldn't believe my mother sat there and listened to that. Mm. And that's just what they did. Now, I said that to say this. If he was sitting up, he, he had to come out here for some reason that had to do with business after the fact. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm talking about mama's situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, he left here without me complying. How about that? He had to know, I don't move by man. I move by God. Mm -hmm. And we talking about finances, okay? But money don't move me like that. Don't get it wrong and don't get it twisted. We can't run no ministry. We can't live full-time life yeah. doing ministry work if we don't get from whom God forever will allow the poor into the uh, good soil. What I say mean good soil, you, mm. you know the right from the wrong. Yeah. You know the righteous from the one who ain't right. If not, ask God about it. Mm. He'll let you know, be careful where you place your money because that money comes initially from God. And the scripture says that uh, money is the root of all evil, but we can't live without it. it ain't nobody 
shaking hands with the Holy Ghost and supplying nothing but God. But he will touch the heart of, of natural men to give into the bosom. That's why Larry mentioned the cash mm-hmm. app. Mm-hmm. Now, let me say this last thing about the court. I'm contesting. Everybody knew that, right, Brother Larry? Mm-hmm. About the court. Yeah. I was the one uh, contesting that uh, this person should not be uh, over Twinkie finances. They were over her medical situation. Mm. That's why Twinkie seemingly to be where some of you all were in question what's really going on with her. Ain't nothing wrong with Twinkie's mind. Because mm. she caused me when the Lord started dealing with her. Trust that. They can't stop that. <laughs> so um, that's why my dad, before he left here, told me watch out for her. Mm. In other words, he know I could back him up off of him because I wouldn't let nobody roll up on me. When so, I left Detroit, I was in my 20s. So did the okay? court date happen? And I never had to run back home. Hmm? Did the court Excuse date me? happen on the May the 6th, March 6th? It, it, what happened is I called in to, uh, you have to check in when you're doing an over-the-speaker call, okay, which was my situation because I'm in California. They're in Michigan. So mm-hmm. my testimony was going to go over the um, loudspeaker right. in the uh, hearing. Mm-hmm. I checked in. They were to call me when that particular case would come before the judge. I never got the call, but I'm the contesting person. Mm. How can how can you go? How can you make a ruling mm. without the other side being heard? Mm. So what I was told by an eyewitness that was in the hearing outside um, outside of my son was because he he was broken up. That's what y'all was seeing up in him and when he was in that great, great suit. Mm-hmm. He couldn't talk because he was broken up. And I couldn't stand and hear him because I know what he was going through. Mm-hmm. I done went before family members and felt that way. Mm-hmm. The only thing is I'm not up there now. They're working on, trying to work on him. But Larry's smarter than that. He already knows. Mm-hmm. And I told him, you don't have to go among them. God will bless you right where you are. He did it for me. You just keep on doing what you want to do. Because mm-hmm. actually Larry Paul. They minister to me. When I get to the point where I might want to give up or stop doing what I've been doing and so many people being blessed from it because of the emails they sent me, how I minister to them on the phone, et cetera, I say, keep it going. Somebody's benefiting me. Your living is not in vain. You were birthed for a reason. I wasn't uh, aborted, so I'm here for a reason. I used to say, why, 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 why did you let me be a clerk? What's mm. the point? Mm. What do I serve in, in, in this part of the family? Mm. Okay? Now, there that, that has to be a lot of wickedness going on for me to even question that when I seen my mother and father, as our parents lived the life of Christ, and, you know, many others that was in his church and, and other churches we had sung. Now, the bottom line with the court matter is, you know the scripture that tells you don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing? Uh-huh. I called up there, and I asked the lady who asked, I left it on the machine. And I identified myself and who I, I am and where I live and such and such. I need a call back. I wanted to know had the hearing been, been uh, heard. I'm still sitting by the phone waiting. And she calls back after the fact and says, there has been a ruling. Um, if you want to go on the site to see, you can because it's public information. Hmm. Well, this is why the right hand not letting the left hand know what they're doing. How can a judge rule people if you on one side of the court and you're going against the other person and they just hear one side? How can that how can anybody rule on that? It depends on it depends on the judge because what the judge can do, depending on the judge, and but you can always appeal. The judge can say, Okay, she's not here, we're gonna carry yeah, on with the ruling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So so but, where is it but, now? But the judge had to hear both sides. They didn't let her know that I was uh uh Waiting by the phone. Because the way it would happen, why would they be pushing Twinkie in a silent room? I'll, I'll just say that it had to be the judge's chamber. Why would it be the, the ones that's with Twinkie and the lawyer, yet Twinkie's lawyer was there too? Uh, Larry made sure she had some representation. And uh, then me, 
Bear was there to give. A, a, he was supposed to speak. The uh, the other parties, the three amigos, wouldn't allow that to even be said. Because the last thing a witness told me they were hearing is, I want Larry to be. If I got to have someone, I want Larry to be. Why weren't she calling out the person who was petitioning? Mm. Why wasn't she calling them out? Because the judge had to honor the person. That's the way they did it with Mama. Mama said who she wanted to be. Two of us questioned it. Me and Twinkie contested it. That's why Twinkie is getting retaliated without me being around, okay? But I want to clear up this one thing, um, too, before we get to the call. Um, people, I've heard many testimonies since this situation. I didn't, I didn't call this, cause this court matter. The other side caused the court matter, mm. okay? But I'm not going to sit there and let somebody just roll up over my sister Twinkie just because she doesn't know criminal law or civil law or any of that kind of stuff. She can play that organ. She can write them songs. <laughs> she don't know nothing about the law. She calls me and asks me, okay, Nisi, what should I do? I say, listen, pray first. You pray and then call me back. Said, it's God you got to talk to first. And then God will deal with me on how to deal with you mm. on what to do. <laughs> okay. Mm. So that's where we at with that. It, it is, it's not over till God says it's over. How about that? Mm. That makes sense? That makes sense. I got it. I totally, I totally got it. So basically, they just moved on okay. without it, and that's how it is. Okay, now last question, and then I'm gonna let you go. And open, I'm opening up the lines a little bit because we have been too long. We said we we're gonna do this for 30 minutes, and these mm. and that did not happen. Um, I know. <laughs> so, okay. Come on. So um, the last question is this: We can't help it. We just can't help it. Huh? Uh, this is what happened. We get on the phone, ain't it something? Okay. So this is the thing. Every time. I want to know. And I want this to be clear. Um, I think I already know. Oh, but wait, 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 You said earlier, or it was stated, mm -hmm. that they've been taught not to talk. That's a lie. Oh. That's a pill. That's not true. If that's true, then why, why is there a God? Why is there what? They're trying to cover up. If, if you mentioned that they... The, the other family members, mm -hmm. I was taught not to speak and not to say nothing. Mm -hmm. Remember that statement? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the public would know where we at. You remember when you stated that uh, they've been trained not to talk? Yeah, what I meant they was... They talk any other time. <laughs> Wait, I'm through. Callers or the next question, please. <laughs> okay. All right, the last, the last question. You know, I love the news. The last, the last question is <laughs> this. Well, Ashley, I want you to make a statement. I, I, I've, I've heard okay. you on the phone cry, talk very passionately about how you love every one of your sisters, including Jackie. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I want I want to give you about two minutes for you to just express so people can hear your heart, how you feel. I mean, because every family got issues on how you feel about your blood sisters, about your um, your even your half siblings, how you feel about your family, and that you miss them. That's you saying that. Don't put no words in my mouth. Oh, okay, well, I'm so I don't sorry. miss them. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I don't miss them because I love them. I stated that last, uh, the fifth, was that the first one, Larry, that I uh, said, I'm sorry if I did something? Uh, oh, that was the first one. Did they feel like I've done something? Remember? Was that the first one? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, Jackie. I'm sorry, Twinkie. If I done something to you, Dorinda, I'm sorry. I heard them say, no, I'm sorry. They came back and said, no, I'm sorry. Somebody asked me, have they approached me? I didn't say nothing. So they got the answer. <laughs> These are, we, we're grown people. Grown people shouldn't be acting like children. You're right. Either I'm telling the, no, no, either. I'm telling the truth. And they can't come up and say nothing behind it because it's the truth. So you all that are on the bandwagon to try to stand behind whichever sister that you want to stand behind, 
know that them sisters is not going. That's my family. And like he told you, I love it my heart. I could never do some of the nasty things that's been done to me as their sister. That's why I question my own daddy. Is that my real mother? Mm. Daddy. Mm. Now, somebody had to ask that. You know what's about, you know what my dad, how he responded to that? I couldn't say nothing else hmm. because it hit him like a ton of bricks that I would need to ask him that. Hmm. I felt more outsider than Jackie did any day. Let's put it there. That might be something she's bad to hear, but she ain't let me push away from nothing. Hmm. I walked away because God put it in my spirit. Get out from around kindred. That's the kinfolk, like Abraham. Abraham, mm-hmm. Joseph, they didn't stone you. They didn't throw you in, threw you in the pit and left you for dead in slavery. Mm. He gave me two or three other in, individuals, and that's what made me take off. I had two homes I left back there. But at the reading of the will, Mama gives you back your two houses. How Mama going to give me back two houses that's on my name? That I let her rent out, which was my, that way of her getting payment from me monthly to mm-hmm. help take care of her. So, you know, enough is enough. Sickness is sickening. I don't have to ever step into a church again. I don't have to preach another sermon again. I can do it right here in my house. I don't have to go nowhere to know that I got it right with my maker. And if nobody else loves me, I've read some very deep, heartfelt comments mm-hmm. of people I've never seen before. But the impact of me coming forth. Mm-hmm. So when they say something about whatever the comments is, I don't care what that they say. I don't want to read them. I don't want to know about them. Because mm-hmm. I've done what God called me to do to come out here and help somebody. Is mm-hmm. my living in vain? Is my praying in vain? Is my fasting in vain? Mm-hmm. Somebody's letting me know it's not. Mm-hmm. Many, 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 many. So I thank you. Now, my last thing to say before you pick up the, ask, uh, the phone. Okay. I want to be kind to you guys and loving. But I'm firm like my mother and my father. Yes, yeah, she Daddy is. Daddy had his firmness. <laughs> Mama had her firmness. Okay. <laughs> Don't think because we Christian, we're going to let you just roll up on us like a cement truck and just step on the side and let you do it. Mm. No. But I will say this. Don't come on the pages trying to think about getting us together. <laughs> it takes God to be involved with that. Yeah. Sure, you can hope for it, you can pray, you can ask for restoration, whatever. Mm-hmm. But do not come over here talking about some healing needs to be done. Well, find out who the ones who need to be healed. You're just hearing about it. you just, this is your first time it's hitting your ears within the last couple of months, only because Brother Larry allowed me, Brother Reed allowed me, the prophet let me be able to feel comfortable enough that he would not distort my story. How can anybody question somebody's story? I can't question your story, brother. Brother, yeah, you right. You right. I have to take what you say. Well, and how dare I say anything? Period. If I don't know, it's better to say nothing than to say something and then destroy p- other people because babes are looking at us. People that are on the edge, some that want to commit suicide Mm -hmm. because they're observing the church and they don't know who to come to. Where is the righteous? Can you ask that to of yourself, people? I'm good. I'm blessed. And thank you for uh, respecting the pages. I haven't gotten any bad ones that I had to block. Hopefully (laughs) I don't. (laughs) <laughs> but I'm saying there's rules and regulations on the page that my name on that I'm officially under. And I will tell you like I did yesterday with, the, with somebody who I saw on my page twice. I could have missed and been on the feed, but wherever it ended up was where it needed to be. Because God didn't let me erase it. Mm. It showed up. And mm. I basically spoke and said, that doesn't happen over here. You can go on the pages of people who allow this, but it's enough with the selling in the in the, de- uh, in the temple when God Jesus got upset about it. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm real real careful with how yeah. I 
do, deal with soul well, and, and and hurt people. That's not my nature. Well, you know okay. what? Thank you so much, people. God bless I, you, Larry. I have totally, and I'll listen. I have totally enjoyed you being up here. It's always a joy to talk to you. I enjoy you getting on a conversation, then you go off down this road, then you come back to the, I enjoy all of that. I love Amen. all that you are. <laughs> I love your feistiness, your fussiness, your sternness. You know, I, I love your love, your kindness, your warmth. I love everything about you. And I'm Thank so glad you. that now you're getting to experience the love and appreciation that um, everybody has for you everywhere. All right. We're going to say goodbye. I put up this one more time so that you guys can support the project that she's about to be doing. And she's doing it for you guys that said you want a music. Dollar sign at D as in dog or that's Dr. D as in dog. Um, then Bradford B B R A D Ford. It's up before your eyes now. Screenshot it, share it around, and go. I don't care if it's just five dollars. Just go give something. I'm gonna do it tonight before I go to bed. Um, make sure that you do that. And if you can't do cash, if you want to do it another way, you can always do text to give, put in the memo, or go to um, the mbnnetwork.org. You can go to iamlarryd.com and just put in the memo that is for Dr. Denise Braffer, and I'll make sure that it gets over there to her. So make sure that you guys um, do you. that. And I am the people are already in queue. So we're going to go straight into taking a few good, calls. Good, you have, good. You have, you you have one minute. Tell me your name, where you're calling from. See you later, Dr. Denise. Yes, sir. All right, bye. All right, bye. Love you. Love you too. All right, next. Caller in and 